Sixth place, Scarlets took on fifth in the table, Glasgow. Both sides welcomed a number of returning internationals. Coach Simon Easterby, happy to see Jonathan Davies return in the centre to captain the side. Liam Williams, man of the match against Scotland at full back. This was Warriors' first game at Scots Toon in six weeks. And with six of their last eight matches of the campaign to come at the Glasgow venue, coach Gregor Townsend was hoping that that would help his sides push for a place in the playoffs. Alex Dunbar, Duncan Weir, Chris Fusaro and Chris Cusseter, some of the returning Scottish internationals. And it took the home side eight minutes to notch the first score of the evening. As Glasgow attacked, referee Alain Roland penalised Samson Lee for a high tackle on Dunbar and it gave Weir the first chance of the game, which he took to put Warriors 3-0 up. The home side were controlling the early part of the game, but it wasn't until the 20th minute that Weir doubled the lead to 6-0 with another well-struck effort. Scarlets took a while to gain any sort of territory, but when their scrum had Glasgow under pressure near the Warriors' line, the ref blew for a penalty, and the Welsh side opted to shoot for the posts. Barclay's effort was on target, and despite having been under pressure for most of the game, they were back to 6-3 on 26 minutes. However, it didn't take long for the home side to reassert their authority on proceedings. Pusaro was held up just short of the try line before the Scots worked their magic off the scrum. A brilliant move, rounded off by a scintillating run from Nico Matawalu. One of those training ground routines that worked like a dream for Townsend's men. This, the Fijians' third try in as many games. Weir missed the conversion, but it was 11-3 for Glasgow. And that's how it stayed until the half-time break. Early into the second half, Glasgow added three more points when Scarlets were penalised after Josh Turnbull was ruled offside and he collected the dropping ball. Weir once again fired his kick between the posts to move Glasgow 14 points to three ahead. On 49 minutes, another Ollie Barkley penalty brought it back to 14-6 to the delight of the travelling supporters who were obviously enjoying the Glaswegian hospitality. With three minutes remaining, Alan Thomas had a chance to bring Scarlets back to within five points of Glasgow and get them into losing bonus territory. But unfortunately for the Welch out half, his kick was off target. And Glasgow held on for a very hard-earned win and their first double over Scarlets in four seasons. So Warriors remain fifth, but keep the pressure on Ospreys above them, who they face next week. Scarlets remain sixth, but a place in the playoffs is looking like a step too far now. Final score at Scotstoon. Glasgow Warriors 14, Scarlets 6.